there are so many people that are trying to scale their business, but they literally don't have any presence online whatsoever. I think that's the weirdest thing ever. Okay, how do you expect to scale your brand and pitch multi five figure, four figure, whatever deals, but you don't even have a personal brand? If nobody knows who you are, how are they going to trust you? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why personal branding is important in 2023. Now, first, let's talk about who people do deals with. Okay, you're not gonna do a deal with someone who you don't trust, okay? People do deals usually off referrals or off people they know, something like that. If you're pitching someone off of a cold DM or a cold email, the first thing they're doing is looking you up. Nobody's gonna do business with you without looking you up. If you search me up right now on Google, you're gonna see Avon Arab LinkedIn. You're gonna see my LinkedIn profile. It has a link to my website. It explains what I do nice and clear. Now, if someone searches you up and they don't find anything about you on the internet, they're gonna be like, who the hell is this guy? Is he some scammer? Is he trying to scam me? Is he trying to take my money? Now next, they might not have found you on Google, but they're probably gonna search you up on social media. But the thing is, you don't know which social media platform they're gonna search you up on. So that's why it's important to be on every single platform at the same time. If you're on every platform, you're eliminating the possibility that they're gonna look you up on Instagram or TikTok and not find you. Now, finding your profile is one thing, but the next step is actually having a good profile. Your profile needs to show who you are, and it also needs to show that you're not just some business guy. All you talk about is short form content, YouTube, etc. You need to actually be talking about yourself. You need to look like a human. On Twitter, I always get bashed. People tell me I look like an AI because I look at the camera and I don't blink. So I'm actually making an effort in this video to blink. <laughs> Anyways, that's besides the point. I asked Cold Email Wizard himself, also known as Daniel. I asked him, if someone DMs you, what do you do first? And he told me he checks their profile right away. He's not gonna answer you without checking your profile. This guy makes insane amounts of money and I trust whatever he says. I've spoken with other business owners as well and they all told me the same thing. Now, when someone lands on your profile, they need to know what you do, how you do it, who you serve, and a little bit about you. So let's take my Twitter, for example. In my banner, it clearly shows what I do and I have a money back guarantee. And then next in my bio, it says what I do once again. And then after that, I have a little bit about myself. It says documenting my agency growth since day one. By the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's the second link in the description. People are gonna see, oh, this guy's been documenting his agency growth. They're gonna scroll through, they're gonna find a thread where I've literally been documenting every single day of what I've been doing at my agency. People see this and they think, oh, this guy's authentic. He's really I can check his history. I can check. He has records. He did this on this day. He's doing outreach. Oh, he signed a client on this day. Oh, four days later, he signed another client. I have records. I have history. People will search me up. They're going to go to my website. They're going to see my video sales letter. They're going to watch it. They're going to learn everything about my service and the ins and outs of what I can do for them and the outcome they're going to get. And then from there, they're going to go back to the Twitter DMs. Then they're going to answer me. Obviously, this isn't going to happen every single time. But if you have a high ticket offer or you're targeting people of high status, they are going to do this. I almost guarantee it. Not only does it help your conversion rate on your outbound campaigns, but it also helps you get inbound leads. You can't base your entire business off of outbound campaigns. You need to focus on inbound leads as well. So how do you do this? Let me explain. By posting content, posting short form videos, posting long form content, creating a funnel from the YouTube search bar to a short form video that leads to a long form video where you nurture your audience. And then from there, they're gonna hit the first link in the description that leads to your website. That's where they book a call with you. That's where the sales call takes place. And that's where the sale is made. Now, obviously people aren't gonna check out your website after the first time they see your face. It's gonna take a couple times, maybe even a hundred times, but that's the importance of creating content consistently over a long period of time. I've had people in my pipeline since January 3rd and I just converted them at the end of February. How did I do this? I stayed active on social media. I was consistently tweeting, consistently posting short form videos. I was everywhere. Nobody could escape me. Now this guy kept seeing me nonstop and then eventually he texted me. He was like, yo, I need your service now. We hopped on a quick call, closed the deal over the phone and that's it. I've had this happen to me multiple times. So by creating content, you'll be nurturing your existing following and you'll be gaining new followers. And then these people are gonna get nurtured as well. And then over time, as their conversion window opens up and they realize, okay, I need video editing or I need email marketing, then they're gonna contact you right away. You're gonna start having inbound leads coming from left and right, and you won't even know which platform they're coming from. You wanna funnel people into your ecosystem and make your face inescapable. You wanna be everywhere on every single platform. Once you combine inbound and outbound marketing and you start building up your personal brand and you get a good following you're going to get access to new deals that you didn't even know you had access to people with a lot of followers are going to start respecting you a lot of people say oh followers don't matter oh like saying cash who cares about social media no social media opens doors you can get into rooms with people who make a lot of money how do you do this build up your social media following 
And throughout the process of doing that, you're going to build up a network. There's going to be people who randomly text you. They're going to ask you questions in the DM. You're going to answer them. Maybe you're going to hop on a call, connect. Oh, I know this guy. Oh, I know him too. Oh, now you guys have a connection. And then once that guy needs your service, he's going to contact you right away because he already has that trust built up. So that's the importance of having a personal brand. You can have leads come to you. Your outbound campaigns will have a higher conversion rate and you'll be building up your network. So once again, building up your personal brand is the best investment you can make. So now that I've convinced you on that, let me tell you about how you can do this using a couple hours a week. Now there's two departments of content. There's your written content and there's your video content. A lot of people treat these as two separate things, but you actually need to treat them as one huge flywheel. So you want to start this flywheel by making long form content. And then from there, you want to repurpose that long form content into shorts. Now what you want to do is take these shorts and turn them into individual tweets. And then you're going to turn the long form content into individual threads. Now, after that, you want to get Tweet Hunter and run an auto DM giveaway to your YouTube video. So to make an auto DM giveaway running to your YouTube video, the first thing you need to do is craft a hook. So I'm going to read one off my screen right now. Over the last month, I made 12 YouTube videos and 368 shorts using my lightning content framework. I just made an eight minute video that details my exact content creation process from A to Z. Comment 12 and I'll auto DM it to you must be following. Now the key trick is to include either an image or a GIF because people are scrolling on Twitter. They're just seeing walls of text, but then they're going to see a pattern intro. They're going to see an image or a GIF and a nice book that has numbers in it. People are going to see what the hell is this? I want this eight minute video right now. They're going to comment. They're going to think it's some private video, some secret video, but you just link them to your YouTube channel. And then most of these people, they're going to see it. They're going to be like, what the hell is this? It's just a public YouTube video, but they're still going to click it as long as you have a good thumbnail and a good title. From there, half of those people might subscribe, maybe a quarter, maybe one twelfth. I don't know. It depends on how good your content is. It's important to make good content. Usually off every auto DM, I gain anywhere from 200 to 600 followers. Do one of those per week and your Twitter is going to blow up. Your YouTube's going to blow up and then they're going to watch your YouTube shorts. Maybe from there, they're going to follow your Instagram, follow your TikTok. It just creates an endless stream of content. You see how we made Twitter work in conjunction with TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and all those other platforms? We're creating a flywheel. From there, you want to turn your long form pieces of content into a nice, clean formatted document. And then you want to turn that into an auto DM giveaway as well. These are infinite assets and you should be retweeting them on your Twitter forever. How do you do this? Get Hype Fury. In Hype Fury, you can queue up 20 retweets every single day and you can continuously retweet your content. This is exactly what Cold Email Wizard does and that's how he has 115,000 followers. Now that you have this flywheel, you can also take your written content and repurpose it into LinkedIn posts. And from there, you can turn your video content and turn it into emails. You might be wondering, how do you get emails in the first place? Next time when you run an auto DM, funnel them into an opt-in page. From here, it's going to ask for their name, phone number, and email. They're going to put it in and then you're going to email them the link to your YouTube video. Now that you've collected all of their emails, you can send one email per week based on your YouTube video. On top of that, now you have a list of people that are interested in your offer or your personal brand in general. So if you ever have a new product to launch, like an info product, or you have a discount on your service, you can just blast your email list. Once you have an email list, you actually own your audience. Nobody can take it away from you. Nobody can ban you. You have these emails forever. It's important to keep this email list engaged and don't forget to send one email every single week. One more thing I want to talk about is differentiation. You need to differentiate yourself from other people in your niche. For example, for me, there's a thousand people on Twitter doing short form content at the exact same time. How did I differentiate myself? I had a personality. I wasn't only tweeting about short form. Oh, you can make short form videos, 60 shorts in two hours, whatever. I created that offer, by the way. I was tweeting pictures of me walking outside. I was tweeting pictures of me out with my friends. I was tweeting pictures of myself traveling. Some people might see these tweets and be like, what the hell is this? You should only be tweeting about stuff that's related to your business because that's what brings you customers. The thing is, I'm differentiating myself. People see me as someone who actually has a light, someone they can trust rather than someone who's just like short form, short form. No, this guy okay he goes outside oh okay there's a lot of people replying to his tweet saying oh where are you from oh i'm from canada it looks like he has a nice friend group this is what differentiates me from a thousand other short form people i've actually pivoted now so i don't even only do short form content we specialize in long form but our main service is creating social content flywheels for people. We come into your business and implement a content operating system completely done for you. And how we do this is we take your long form content, turn them into shorts, turn that into tweets, then to emails, then to LinkedIn posts. And we do the whole thing for you. All you have to do is record. I'll give you all of the content ideas on a silver platter. So you just have to show up, record for a couple hours a week, and then that's it. Everything just gets spread out across every single platform. And the best part is, 
I'll guarantee you five new clients or you don't pay. Once again, that's five new clients or you don't pay. Now to recap, the importance of building a personal brand is you'll get higher conversion rates on your cold email and cold DM campaigns. Second, you're going to start getting inbound leads. Third, you're going to differentiate yourself. And fourth, you'll start getting into rooms with people that you didn't even know was possible. That's it, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike. And that's it. Peace out.